everybody doing out there today? It's 9.49, say 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2-9-2021. Update before I get into the market. Uh, basically, United Allied States first dates. Fluid. They're supposed to be taken off today. Steve's time, quote unquote, with Telegram. And then another change. <laughs> One of the other states that they've been working on has pushed to the forefront um, better than the desert one that they were going to go to today. So the desert piece that they are working on with infrastructure and for finance and, and industrial is going to be pushed back a little bit, but it's coming. You'll see it. Um, but priorities are this other one that's popping to the forefront, um, which is not the uh, first state now, I know this can get confusing because it really is switching around a lot, but you got to understand what they're doing. Wessel is the lawyer and congressman for uh, United Allied States, has been traveling to different countries and working out deals with different countries and many other people too. So when this information comes in and they schedule and then COVID came into the picture, yeah, things got all messed up. But the first state that was originally planned to be one, the biggest one that they were working on to get it and go to, that one there has been pushed about a week or two back, but that's not far away. This other one that they're working on, which was not in the forefront, and it's a good, good chunk of land and nice, that one is pushed to the forefront. And that's the one that they plan on going to. They have a full diplomatic invitation with a ceremonial arrival style thing. Can't get into more details, but it's exciting. They're doing it, so you just got to be patient on that. And then, also, too, before I go too far, you guys probably know that the Apollo FinTech um, Twitter channel was suspended. <laughs> Bastards. Uh, let's take a look. Yep, still is. Steve's working on getting that reopened again. The basic thing that they were saying about it is that because they were pushing Stratus, and that is a possibility, but they were also putting out political tweets, and I warned Steve about that back about a week ago. He told the Twitter poster to stop doing it. He said it should be staying neutral, but the Twitter poster was posting hashtags rebellion and a few other, two, how can I put it? Uh, you can get suspended for it. <laughs> you don't. You want to stay away from the inciting stuff um, and just stick with the product. And they're getting that all straightened out. That'll be back and snuffing. And let's put it this way: Steve still has his account, so he can get out all the stuff. And as you can see, AJ Mora has his, and he can push out the stuff. And Stratus is getting speed updates and basically moving a lot and shaking for the server changeover. So check your Stratus speeds today. And this week, you're going to see quicker action on those, which is nice. Uh, Stratus is also going to have the YouTube and TikTok apps competitor pieces come out along with so much of that in the next couple weeks. So you're going to just see a lot of this action popping, fizzing, doing a bunch of different things. Until the first state comes out and the government announces the signing of the treaty, don't expect much surging. So you could have a good chance of getting APL at a lower price still for a while. But once the country does announce that Apollo has, or, and I should say, United Allied States has signed the treaty with them, that's when you're going to see the spark ignite the ignition. So ladies and gentlemen, that's coming. It's just when is the question. 1.3, look at the spark on the market. 1.364, what a segue on that one. <laughs> BTC, almost 50K, it's going to get there. But when? The question is, when is that going to happen? 46,232 for Bitcoin. ETH at 1740. XRP at 45 cents. Uh, ADA is doing very well still at 68 cents and cranking up there pretty good. When you look at its production, doing very well since the pump started, and overall has not had that dip that you see in a lot, not USDT, but <laughs> this is looking pretty good over here. And it's a very strong market. And let's put it this way, having over a trillion dollars in your market, back in 2017, everybody was all hyped about one trillion. It was gonna be massively historic. 
Now they're taking it for granted. And two trillion is going to be coming. Boy, how things change fast, don't they? No doubt about that. So, Ripple says lawsuit needlessly muddied the waters for exchanges, market makers, and crypto traders investing in XRP. Those bastards. They suck. <laughs> SEC, don't take it personally. You did screw it for a little while, but things will change on that. Canadian Bank says Apple could be next to buy Bitcoin, build crypto exchange. The Canadian Bank could be right on this. We'll have to wait and see what's what. Um, but Apple's not stupid. They have all that cash. They see what's going on with Bitcoin. And they know supply and demand. Basically, supply and demand. Apple knows all about it. And let's put it this way. Winklevoss Twins now $3.3 billion richer after crypto surge. Can I say bastards again? Jeez, I'm getting bastard out a lot today. Siam Bank launches 50 million blockchain fund. The fund will focus on global growth and stage companies that shape the next generation of financial services and digital systems. The venture capital arm of Thailand, Thailand's, Thailand's, Thailand's oldest bank says. So Siam. I've always liked the look of that country with the lights, um, but out in the, no, I won't get into that. <laughs> Digital right lawyer demands revoking CBN's crypto banking ban in Nigeria. Yeah, they're pushing to get that uh, opened up. The Central Bank of Nigeria. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out for them. Then you've got crypto trading platform Epiphany. Epiphany reportedly plans to go public following Coinbase's lead. So we'll have to see what goes on with that. Personally, I've never heard of them. Where are they based out of? I don't know. Who cares? All right, then. Fostering financial inclusion via real-time digital payments. Who is that? Ripple. Getting back to Ripple. Um, you should check out their site and whenever you get a chance. The, everything's going to change with the SEC where things are going to open up. Ripple is a reputable company. And with their banking and their P2P, they are doing a great job. No doubt about that. So that you should pay attention to. And in the meantime, let's let Apollo work their magic and get everything going with the United Allied States, Stratus. Knox Bank also is getting very close to coming out. Uh, basically, all the stuff that Steve has been talking about is coming out very soon. Knox Bank, Knox World Pay. Uh, Gold Inc., they're taking a little more time getting their stuff together, but they're testing and pushing it and getting it going. Um, soon that will open up to apps in the stores. But more importantly, United Allied States. Next few weeks, you're going to have states visited, things happening, video showing the states, or at least a lot of what's going on. Can't say exactly what the video is going to show, but it's going to show it. So when it does, when everything comes together, Mark my words, when the country announces that they have done a deal with the United Allied States and Apollo Fintech is going to run the blockchain in that state of square miles given in a treaty to the United Allied States by the country and the national currency is going to be provided by Apollo based on their blockchain, the price of APL will go up on that and quite a bit in my opinion. That's just my own personal opinion. So get it out there, Apollo. So we can rock and roll. In the meantime, Coin Tiger, APL BTC, APL USDT, available on Coin Tiger. You betcha. Everybody, have a great one. As soon as I get more info, I will do it for you. And hold on, let's get the right one here. This one right here. Everybody, have a great day today. Enjoy. Hopefully, your weekend was great. And let's get this week rocking. Any breaking news, I'll have it for you.